Consumers are very scrupulous when it comes to the content of food products with limited shelf life. Among them are mainly dairy and fermented milk products. We're also quite selective when it comes to yogurts and cheese curds made especially for babies. Food industry enterprises producing baby food have to meet the highest standards. Today in our program Made in Ukraine, we will tell you how leading food industry enterprises produce dairy products especially intended for babies. This enterprise has a high level of automation. Practically all the production processes at the plant are managed with the help of specialized operating sections. All technological equipment at the plant is set into motion with the help of these two control panels. Every operator has a key that gives access to the processing control program, which contains receipts of food production and also launches the production process. Using the system, the plant can produce safe food of standard quality in accordance with production programs, so laboratory workers pay special attention to milk quality indicators. The milk production process starts with delivery of raw milk. Milk tankers transport milk to a dairy factory. A laboratory technician takes samples from every section of a milk truck and conducts a series of analysis. The control sample is preserved in a container over 24 hours. Laboratory personnel tests milk for 16 indices, including safety indices, antibiotics and inhibitors. If the quality of milk meets all the requirements, the operator obtains a permit to pump milk out and process it. Raw milk is tested for temperature, acid content, density, number of solids, fatness, content of proteins, thermal stability, water and other additives – soda, ammonia, hydrogen peroxide and antibiotics. To control milk samples, the factory uses arbitrary research methods and an automatic express analyzer of milk, milk quality analysis station. Using the station, the plant can task for 8 indices per minute. Milk quality analysis station helps to avoid the influence of the human factor on research results and guarantees independent control. A laboratory assistant confirms compliance of the indices with the requirements. Milk acidity is specified from sample decolorizing. Other indices are specified with the help of methods especially intended for this. Each index is tested individually. Usually a full cycle analysis of milk for all indices from one milk tank vehicle takes about 40 minutes. Milk is allowed to be produced only after its quality has been verified, otherwise it is returned to the milk supplier. The temperature of delivered milk has to be from 2 to 6 degrees above zero. After that, it is kept in reservoirs until further processing. About 100 tons of milk can be processed at the factory each day. Twelve hours pass from the moment of reserve to further processing. Each milk lot is fully processed in order to control which product was obtained from a party of milk. Milk goes from reservoirs to a section of separating and pasteurizing. Milk of 4 to 6 degrees is heated and after that is processed in a separator. The separator separates milk into two substances, skim milk and cream. 40% of cream and skim milk are mixed in the necessary proportion in order for milk to reach the necessary level of fattiness. All the processes are done with the help of an automatic transfer line by a special recipe. The production capacity of the line is 15 tons of milk per hour. After that, the milk is pasteurized. Pasteurizing is a high-temperature processing of milk that is needed to remove pathogenic flora. After this stage of processing, milk can go through the technological process. Seeing as the plant specializes in the production of baby food, milk goes through two stages of pasteurizing or pasteurizing and sterilizing. After that, pasteurized milk passes through a bactofuge. This is an apparatus that works on a principle of the use of centrifugal force. All the odds, milk clots and bacteria are equitably distributed along the perimeter of this equipment and are removed. This is an extra cleaner for milk. 
It has a high productiveness and effectiveness. It removes about 98% of bacteria and spores from milk, which can be found in milk after pasteurizing. The following stage of the milk processing is de-aerating, a process during which dissolved air in small bubbles are removed from milk. The content of vitamins in milk can be reduced as a result of high thermal treatment. To restore the balance, vitamins A, D and E are added to the milk. Their proportion and balance in the product are specified in line with the recommendations of experts for baby nutrition. Milk also goes through the process of homogenizing. It is homogenized to reduce the size of the remaining milk fat particles. This prevents the milk from floating to the surface as cream and spreading milk layers. Milk that is ready goes to production technological lines. The plant produces a wide range of products for children. They include milk, kefir, yogurt, fermented milk, children's cheese curds and milk gruel. All the products are produced with the help of transfer lines and after that, milk is packed. The ready product goes to the packing section, which is equipped with the three transfer lines, picking of milk into bottles, picking into polypropylene glasses and aesthetic packing line Tetra Pak. The productivity of the lines is several tons of production per hour. The line of packing of milk in Tetra Pak paper is the most interesting process. It consists of several basic parts – a packing block, milk accumulator, an applicator cover and a multi-packing block. This is a highly automated line. It is monitored by only two operators. Before milk is put into a package, it is decontaminated. High standards of purity and sterility are the basis of production at enterprises that produce child nutrition products. This is a special line for the packaging milk into glass bottles. Factory workers inspect it for damages and the bottles are decontaminated. The bottles are rinsed with ozonic water. After the product has been poured into the bottle, it is corked and marked. Considerable attention is paid to correct marking of products. The expiration date of dairy products for children is a very important index. It is the first detail that attracts the attention of consumers. A conveyor line is the final part of the product packaging process. Dairy products are packed in corrugated boxes and other multipacks. After that, they are put into food storage containers and then delivered to supermarkets.